welcome back to the Titus Two Women. Today I have Mrs. Crucita Sosa. That's right. <laughs> Good friend and associate uh, of sorts from the, from the church. And she, she and I have discovered a lot of things uh, as we were talking together. Things that we have in common <clears throat> or things that uh, are of interest of, of the church. And that, I don't know how to introduce this. Well, you know there are people who see angels today. There mm -hmm. are people mm -hmm. that dream dreams that the Holy Spirit has brought upon them. Mm -hmm. There are people that see visions. Amen. That's Amen. Right. That's right. And quite often these things start uh, before a person has any knowledge that there is such a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted Crucita to um, please talk about the strange but holy experiences you had mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you grew into right, right. other things. Um, yeah. In our previous talk, I mentioned that I had really wanted to know Jesus in a deeper way. And I believe that one of the things that God used to give me that desire to know him more is because since I was uh, a very, uh, of a very young age, mm -hmm. I, mean, I had experiences that I many times didn't want to share with people because I thought something was wrong with me. Because really? I, 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 you know, you, as I was growing up, you didn't really discuss a lot of things like that, you know. And so um, I did. I would uh, have visions, and I had heard the audible voice of the Lord at times, but I did not know it was Him at the oh. time. And, um, and I believe that that's one of the, like I said, one of the experiences that because of having that, that I felt that there was more that I needed, uh, that it had to be real. At one point in my life, I just realized, Father, this has to be something, you know, that's real, that the supernatural is real. It is. And, it is. Um, and most folks would yeah, deny yeah, that, but it's yeah, very real. It's very real. And so after I accepted Jesus as Lord, and like I said, his word just became alive to me, and I just literally took his word and just consumed, <laughs> well, uh, wanted more of him, I began to find uh, the, that the supernatural, that God never changes, and the supernatural, we are spirit beings. And, That's right. And uh, I can only express my opinion from what I've learned, but uh, again, one of the things taken from us in the Garden of Eden is that we could, uh, before sin came in, we could see the spiritual realm. Now isn't yeah. it in the Word, I wish I could remember the scripture, mm -hmm. um, that the Lord says He knew us mm -hmm. before, before before we entered our the mother's womb. Foundations of the earth, yes. And before mm -hmm. the foundations of mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. So we had to be spirit. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. That's right. Preacher slapped that on me last week. I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So as I was seeking him um, and, and reading his word, I did. he did bring me to uh, uh, a verse in Joel 3, 28. It says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out in my spirit. Men and women Men alike. Men and women alike. And so when I read that, I thought, oh, wow, these experiences are real, Lord. And um, so I got a deeper hunger for wanting to know and understand all those experiences that I had had. And they increased after I oh. uh, accepted Jesus as Lord. And uh, I, I just, um, that's just one thing that God has um, in me. We're all mm -hmm. unique and different and, and there's many different giftings in that and that's something that I finally was getting answers to and understood more. Wasn't afraid of it anymore. I just wanted to know more. That reminds mm -hmm. me, when you first saw an angel as a child, mm -hmm. were you afraid or you were excited or no, what? No, not at all. I was about seven years old and I had had um, my tonsils taken out. I was in the mm. hospital, had my tonsils taken out. And uh, when uh, this was back at home, 
and I was still in bed recovering. Mm -hmm. And I rem I've just never forgotten that uh, my, my mom was in the kitchen and I was fully awake but I was in bed and very much aware of a presence and the peace of the Lord there. And I looked to my right, my bed was right up against the wall mm -hmm. and I knew my mom was in the kitchen. But when I looked, there was a, um, well, I know now it was an angel mm -hmm. sitting there, just, just taking care of me, not saying anything. And I knew, and I just, the peace of the Lord was there. I had no fear at all. But the reason I knew he was a spirit being is because, the, uh, the reason I said I was by the, the, my bed was by the wall was because his legs were like into the wall. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yet sitting there on the edge. <laughs> just, and I knew he was taking care of me. Oh. But um, again, I was young then, and I didn't share that with anyone because I didn't know if anybody would understand or not. But I've always remembered that. And in the course of life, that's how I would see, um, just um, just see into the supernatural. Not understanding. Okay, we're going to ask some <laughs> some neat little questions here. Okay. Did he have wings or not? Um, uh, as I have studied uh, and what I know of in the angelic realm, there are many. Um, God uh, has many. Um, what do you call that? Um, categories. Categories. Yes. Of angels and. Uh, I, the archangels have wings, and there's different ministering angels. There's the angels that he dispatches for uh, our finances, mm -hmm. ministries, different ministries. Mm -hmm. So it uh, depends, you know, but they aren't all the same. They aren't all the same. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, did the angel you saw when you were seven, did he have wings or no, not? No, he did no. not. I have uh, although when I, <laughs> got, when I got older, yeah. I did see one that had the wings. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I asked this was because when I was five, I had my one and only concrete experience uh -huh. of seeing angels, and I'm praying to see mm -hmm. one again before I die. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, I was terrified. I was in bed at night. Mm -hmm. um, it was my first night of sleeping in a bedroom that I knew uh -huh. that I was speaking, sleeping in a bedroom without my parents. We were in this little bitty apartment, so you know we were all crunched up, and we slept in in the one bedroom. Mm -hmm. But then my sister came along, and there was no room in one little bedroom for a crib and a single bed and my parents. Mm, okay. So they moved out to the living room to <clears throat> one of those uh, fold-out sofas, yeah, mm -hmm. and left us two girls in the bedroom, and mm -hmm. I was terrified. Wow. So I kept telling my mother I was afraid, and she kept telling me there was no reason to be ashamed, afraid that they were right there, uh -huh. the door was cracked, blah, 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 mm -hmm. on and on and on. And mm -hmm. she was getting testy and irritated at me because I kept, you know, going on and on about this. All of a sudden, I saw them. Mm -hmm. Now, I knew they were angels because I had learned that in, right. in, the, Catholic in the Catholic school. Catholic school. Amen. <laughs> and so um, I looked at them. Mm -hmm. One had wings and one did not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I yelled at my mother. It's okay. It's okay. There's angels here. I'm fine. She said, good. Go to sleep. You know. <laughs> yeah. But see, she didn't believe me. And yeah. there's a good chance that yeah. people would not have believed you. Yeah. And that's something, too, that I... Um, wanted to, to share today is that I, because those things just started happening to me, it wasn't really that I was seeking mm -hmm. that, you know, and it's okay I, to ask for that, but I never actually asked the Lord to, to show me angels or anything. It was just part of my growing up years. It just happened. Um, and when I least expected it, you know, I would just see. Uh, and I've got to say, too, that if you are going to see into the supernatural, you're going to see both. Because mm -hmm. uh, the demon has, the, Satan has his demons out there too. But um, it's why it's very important to be grounded in God's word, to have the armor on of the Lord at all times, because you have to be ready to um, face those things too. Mm -hmm. So if you are seeking those things, I think it should be a very prayerful thing and make sure that that's what God really wants you right. to. You know, this is not see. an adventure. No, no. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, I... Um, I remember when I was also little, um, about in third grade, and we lived uh, in Ohio at this time, uh, I would sleep with my sister, mm -hmm. and um, I was on the outer side of the bed this time, mm -hmm. and it became 
almost like, um, I don't want to say, uh, not a ritual because things aren't ritual, but it became, I expected this every night. I could see before I fell asleep and it was like God would wait until everybody was asleep. And then I could glance into our, uh, where our bathroom was and every night I would see the profile of Jesus on the cross and I would see his, his head just moving and looking over at me. And again, that peace of the Lord was there. So God is a sovereign God and mm -hmm. he has his reasons because he uniquely makes all of us. So I can't say it's because one is holier her person than another. It's just, it's just God mm -hmm. knowing what he has put in us. And um, because of that, he taught me too that um, in Mark 6, 33, I want to read that real quick here. He said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So really, he wants us to seek him. He is mm -hmm. our focus. Mm -hmm. And if he has created you for whatever reason to have these other experiences, they will come in time. But, you know, not to get our focus on other things or beings or anything like that. That's, that's right. You know. That's right. Uh -huh. um, I, uh, last uh, week or so, I was at a convention and also talking about angels to another lady. Mm -hmm. And she said... Um, that when she's, the, the, the appearance of angels were always at a time and place mm -hmm. that they told her that she could understand something about uh -huh. what was right. going on. Right. And if she shared that experience like she did with me, she saw an <clears throat> angel behind me mm -hmm. when we were eating. Mm -hmm. She had kind of bellied up to me, was very, very close, touching. And she wanted me to know that yeah, he was there. Yeah, the Father mm -hmm. was protecting me and leading mm -hmm. me and guiding me mm -hmm. through uh, some new territory, right, some of which right. was quite strange. So mm -hmm. I was quite comforted. Yeah. I really was. To know that God has appointed angels yeah. there to protect us, yeah. Now for her, she also, um, sh she loves to evangelize and, you know, to bring people into the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. And usually when she sees an angel behind a person or mm -hmm. with a person, they are ready to, uh, they are ready to be, you know, moving into the kingdom. Right, right. Or they're drawing near. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so she will, mm -hmm. you know, open a conversation, make a remark, mm -hmm. and most of the time that person accepts the Lord as, as Savior Amen. That's right. at that right. time. However, yeah. some will walk away. Yeah. But Father uses the appearance, mm -hmm. uh, the appearance of the angel to let her know mm -hmm. this person's close. Mm -hmm. See if you can bring that person into the kingdom. Right. I right, love him. Right. Or her. <laughs> Amen. 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 So I'm learning things about this. It seems like a lot the past uh, few weeks. Um, and it's exciting for me to talk about them and to mm -hmm. listen to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited that you talked about the Lord on the, cro on the corpus cross. That is, yes. of course, yeah. the cross with a body. Which also means cuerpo in Spanish. Cuerpo? cuerpo. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the, what people say the Catholic yeah. cross. Mm -hmm him moving his head towards you. Mm -hmm. I bet it was a very loving it look. It was, again. very, very. Because very, mm -hmm. I just now remember there was one time that happened to me when mm -hmm. I was praying very intensely mm -hmm. in church. I, don't know, I was a young girl yeah. and I was a Catholic. It was a Catholic church, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, so it just, it just didn't occur to me that mm -hmm. something like that had happened to someone else. So yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. 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 And I think that as we get closer to the coming of Jesus, that um, uh, his people are going to be experiencing more of this because we have to be prepared, you know, to for what's coming. And that and was the Joel. Uh, that was the Joel yeah. scripture you read. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So these things are going to be more commonplace. Yeah. And we shouldn't fear because, like I said, we are spirit beings, and that's mm -hmm. what God intended for us to be, uh, to walk in the divine nature of God. Mm-hmm. Not the natural. But uh, there is one thing about all of this that um, I think bears noting or you know, mm -hmm, highlighting mm -hmm. is that people who walk in these experiences and with these gifts, mm -hmm. supernatural gifts, are not in control of them. No. This isn't no. something that a person can conjure up. Exactly. Uh, which, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of witchcraft out there yeah. and and... Mm -hmm. weird spirit type, you know, mm -hmm. 
um, groups. Mm -hmm. And there is that notion of if we do right. all of this and that and the other right. and, you know, right. pour the perfume on and uh, slap this against, I don't know, lead yeah. blood, chicken blood yeah. or something, <laughs> that, mm -hmm. yeah, this power is going to come in and we're going to say them. Right. Right. But, you know, God doesn't, doesn't respond to being conjured. No, no. He only uh, responds to your looking to him. Looking to him. Looking to him. And when you do have these experiences, they will be confirmed by his word. They've got to go by His Word. There's no conflict yeah, between no. the experience and the Word of no, God. No, uh -uh. no. Just like he, he teaches us, like I said, that, that there are holy, angelic realm. There is also the, the demonic realm. And um, I have experienced that, too, mm -hmm. at, you know, at different times. But again, because I also sense the presence and the peace of God at the same time, I don't fear them. Really? I don't fear them. I mean, I... Uh, He's, he's wise and he's crafty, so we do have to be cautious and, and careful. But as far as being afraid of him, no, because I know who I am in Christ. And uh, Say that again. I know who I am in Christ. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's so your protection, that's my Christ. protection, yes. Yes. Jesus, just calling on his name. But um, one particular time that... Um, that I can share as far as the demonic, which I really don't want to focus a whole lot on that because it's, uh, but it's out there and it's real, is uh, when uh, I'd say about five, six years ago, I was uh, just sitting in the living room with mm -hmm. my husband watching television. And that's another thing. You said you don't ask for these things. You don't, you know, conjure them up. When I've experienced those things, it was a normal experience during the mm -hmm. day just walking through the day and all of a sudden there's a vision or whatever and I was watching television with him and I suddenly saw in front of me um, the planet earth I saw the planet earth and a large lid, a lid. on it like on, a, uh, on, on the earth? over the earth a large okay. lid and then I saw a huge hand just slowly open up the lid and when he when that happened, um, the only way I can describe this is like like an ant hill, that if you uh, step on the ant mm -hmm. hill, the, the ants just scurry out. Well, this little demons, and I call them dinky because dinky that's demons. all they are. They're dinky. <laughs> they just I mean, but there were zillions and zillions of them, and they just spread out all over the planet. This was like about six or seven years ago. And I just sat there and I said, Father, what did you why, what did you just show me? Mm -hmm. And I shared that with Felix, and he prayed with me. He said, you know, we just decided when God will reveal it to me in time. And, and, uh, and that's usually what I do. I put things up on a shelf, and it's, mm -hmm. it's from him. He, he, he uh, confirms it, or he tells me about it. Well, the very next day, it was almost the identical experience, and only this time he took me into a realm where I looked into the heavens. I was in sight, but I could see the sky in an oval uh, shape opened up in the heavens like an opening and these huge humongous uh, beings came out all, all in armor mm -hmm. and uh, there was a gentle look on their face but yet a, a, a fierce look in okay. their face at the same time and uh, again I just said okay Lord I don't know what's going on here but why you're showing me this but I, I'm going to try to make this you know as fast as I can there was a lot of things that happened in between but I have a friend in Ohio that mm -hmm. um, is um, very close to the Lord and she, she understands all these things and, and got she was taping some Christian programs where there were uh, prophets on there and she said she got to the third one, and she said that God told her that he wanted me to come over and listen to him. And I, she, did, she had not heard me. I had never shared with her what okay. those two experiences were. I want to emphasize that. And everything that you could think of came between me and meeting with her. I mean, for months we tried to get together. But um, finally did. And uh, I went over to her house, and she started, you know, she turned on her television, and and I heard the first prophet, and it was very good, and then the second mm -hmm. one. And then when the third one came on, she said, this is what I want you, that I believe that God wants you to hear. And I cannot remember the gentleman's name because I was so focused on what he said, mm -hmm. but he began to share the identical experience wow. that I had. God had showed him planet Earth, the lid, 
it opened up. There were demons spread all over the earth. Only he explained that we, that God told him that we are living in the last days, and these, this demonic realm has been set loose um, oh, all that, over the planet. This is where we're that's seeing part of what yeah, the last is, days is about. Last days. Okay. And and so I understood. Okay, Lord, you confirmed that for me. And I looked at her. And I, and I said, oh, my gosh, that's exactly what Jesus showed me. Yeah. And she had paused, uh, paused it at that time when I yeah. said that. And she said, did he show you anything else? And, and I said, yeah. And I started to tell her, and she turned it back on, and he said the exact same thing, that the heavens opened up. And he, caught, he said that God, although he had allowed, has allowed the demonic realm to be set loose, that he has also released the warring angels. The warring, the warring angels. angels. So That's why all the armor. the armor and everything. So, you know, we we I think uh, again, it's just my opinion, but we have not paid as much attention. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to keep a balance there. We can overdo looking into those supernatural too much and get our eyes off of Jesus. But th those things are a means and a ways that God communicates with His people too. So we need to pay close attention to and that you know, to those things. Okay, so. I, ha I have two comments. Number one, mm -hmm. paying too much attention. Mm -hmm. Well, with the demons and right. evil spirits, that's yeah. witchcraft and yeah. voodoo and all this kind of stuff. Um, but with the angels, mm -hmm. people get, I mean, you know, Caught sensationalized yes. about this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and we have mm -hmm. cults, Christian mm -hmm. cults, that mm -hmm. allegedly believe in the word, but right. have emphasized angels to the point that... Um, in some of these uh, groups of people or sects of people, uh, they pray to the angels. Right, right, right. And they start giving the angels godly powers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is a no-no. Right. The angels don't have right. godly powers mm -hmm. anyway. That's right, that's right. And they were created. They're created they being. They're created to minister to, to us right. as God's children, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so we are more important than they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that, the Lord brought us into being mm -hmm. for fellowship and relationship. That's right. That's right. Um, and the, yes, we minister too, but the angels are, um, they're incapable of spreading the gospel. They That's don't right. get they out don't there understand. and preach, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They're incapable of reproducing themselves. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about little angels in the Bible? No. <laughs> I mean, no. there aren't any baby angels. No. no. Although, although these cards you can buy in the, uh, you know, in the store, um, yeah, you know, they show these little cherubs, they call them cherubs, yes, and yes. the cutest little kids with wings on. Right. 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 <laughs> but there's none yeah. of that in here. <laughs> right, right. Again, like I said, if it's not by, confirmed by God's word, then yes, we shouldn't have anything to do with it. Yes, and Amen. we shouldn't pay too much attention mm -hmm. to that because that does what? It, it draws it, uh, us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If Jesus is here and we're busy looking at all the angels away, it draws yeah. our attention away right. from, from it's a, Jesus. It creates a diversion. Like I always, like I tell people, it's like the game of football. Yeah. You know, you have your guys out there. They're creating a diversion to get away from the focus, which our focus is Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so. comment number two: <laughs> <laughs> the demons. Uh huh. You told me something very important about the demons and the Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. yeah tell uh, them about that. That's um, Sometimes <laughs> God is God, and he does speak to us in different ways. And I was watching the Wizard of Oz one time, and he said, he said tell, tell the people that that's exactly how Satan is, just like the Wizard of Oz was. He, he presents himself as huge and roaring and makes, tries to make you afraid, but... Like in that movie when Dorothy moved back the curtain, she exposed him. Yes. For being just yeah. little and just, a, just, yeah. uh, just another nothing, guy. nothing to be afraid of. Right. Nothing to be afraid of. But then again, I, I do I do emphasize being covered by the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. and His Word, because He does have certain powers, but He He can't uh, He can't do anything with the child of God when you know Him, and can see through Him. Yes, and you so depend powers, upon you depend the, Lord on the Lord to Lord for his, his protection and stuff. Yes. Well, there was something else you told me that I really <laughs> liked to hear. You said, these guys, you were talking about the signs and the yeah. smoke and mirrors yeah. type thing. You said, you had seen demons, and yeah. they were these little bitty things. Yeah, they're tiny. They're tiny. Little. Yeah. 
like get mm -hmm. off my shoulder business. Yeah. Yeah. Or you said even smaller, like yeah, maybe. Yeah, they're, they're like ants. I mean, just You can really, just stomp on them. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. But I, I can't help but emphasize that you do have to be in God's Word. That's right. Do have to be covered by the Word of the Lord. Yes. Because if you're not, they, they're able to do some things. Bad damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruin your life. Even though they may be little, they're, you know. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Evil powerful. <laughs> nasty, nasty little things. Yes, <laughs> yes. But I was so relieved when you said, oh, they're just little things. Yeah. I thought, wow. Mm -hmm. That just suggested my whole attitude mm -hmm. towards these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So I just got tickled. <laughs> That doesn't mean I have to go out, walk around trying to stomp on all right, the little bugs right. on the floor, but yeah. but it it, yeah. is, it did put yeah. it in a new light yeah. for me. We have to keep it all in balance and with God's word. God's with God's balance. word, mm -hmm. yeah. And understand that when we need that angel in our life, he he's sends. There. He's it's there. he's there. Mm -hmm. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, the Psalms tell us we have a guardian angel. Yeah. That's right. I think right. almost everybody believes in guardian yes. angels. At least uh, mm -hmm. I think even the Jews do. The mm -hmm. Jews and the Christians. Mm -hmm. That may be where we, mm -hmm. where we first learned about mm -hmm. the guardian angels. Yes, in the Psalms, the, uh, the angels would uh, pick us up lest we dash our foot yes. against a stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Right. Thank well, Lord. is there anything else you would like to share? Mm. Lord. Again, I just say, uh, you know, seek Jesus. It's all about him. Didn't you have a third uh, scripture on that? Um, yeah, two or three. Yeah, I had, uh, he also gave me, let's see if I can find it here. Where is it? In Hebrews oh, 11, okay. 6. Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's what the Lord kept emphasizing with me this morning. It's about him seeking him. Seek with and see seek and, and then then all seek him. Seek him. And then yes. all the other things will, yeah. will come. I was thinking I had another one, but I'm not sure where that's at. I think it was in Isaiah. But it's along the same line. That's that's mainly what God spoke to me this morning. Um, to to just seek him first. It's about well, him. I can't think of a better way to end this than to emphasize, seek his face. Mm -hmm. No matter what you see, mm -hmm. seek his praise face. The Lord. Praise the Lord. And praise him and thank him for bringing you to our show. Um, thank once you. Once again, <laughs> please come back. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed the chat. I will. And God bless all of you out there until we meet again. <laughs>